Hey guys and gals, how you doing? Destroyer here. I'm doing a little FEF with friends and I wanted to bring you another how to play video. Episode 8 featuring Grosha, the Harbinger of Doom. So I am wearing Grosha's crackling doom skin as you can see with lightning walking around his feet. So I love Grosha. So it looks like I am going to be taking an outer lane on bottom. Also, I want to talk about the type of Grosha. He plays a little more back uh, and waits for the tanks to initiate and then he goes in. Uh, he does a lot of damage with his skill and you have to be skill proficient with him. So let me uh, show you the first skill I do and this one right here uh, which is the Pillars of Flame and if you look at it it does damage over time it's, it, this DOT skill does 30 damage plus 12 per second for 5 seconds so it does over uh, 150 damage at the moment but the blue number if you notice will increase as well if you look on all my skills the blue number will increase when I buy you know magical damage so as enchanter rings ruby rings anything with damage will uh, make that go up so I'm gonna buy this first skill and the cool thing about this first skill is it's an area of effect as well as a DOT so you see how far I can throw it it's really good for picking off creeps as well and awesome for team fights so the Pillars of Flame is going to be a little like um, this and I'll I'll show you when I get some creeps coming up in my lab. Let me check this cloud first. I'm really happy there's poured on this one. Looks like they are going to mess out a little bit. Alright, I do Goro versus Goro. So I'm going to throw my Pillars of Flame and if you look at it, it's doing that damage over second as well. Oh, and he bought the wrong skill first, as y'all can see. Poor guy. So, now I'm going to come up here. Just last hit my creeps as, uh, as I should. And then I'm going to uh, throw my first skill. And as you can see, I'm doing immense damage to those creeps. The next creep I get will will get become level two. So, but I just gotta watch out for this Goro's tornado, and now he's gotta watch out for mine. So I'm gonna throw this, pick up those two creeps right there. He's gonna mess his tornado, unfortunately for him. Okay, so the next skill, and I'm gonna go back here so you can see. Next skill is called the Hurricane. And as you saw that Goro throw, you can throw it in a distance all around. And it, if it hits a target, it will also do splash damage on the other targets. So I'm going to throw my tornado, hit him real quick, and also pick up most of these creeps. So the next uh, one I'm going to level up is my third skill. And the reason I'm going to do this is if you look at it, this Demonic Legion, uh, this allows me to... Uh, increase my magical attack by 20% which is tremendous and also it's going to allow me to oh take that hurricane to the face alright I'm going to come in here since my guy's coming in here he's going to stomp I'm going to blink get oh no he took it he took it get out of here horse you horse you horse <laughs> Okay, anyways, I missed that kill and wasted my blink, unfortunately. Alright, I picked up what I needed to pick up. So, what I, uh, I'm gonna go home real quick and buy. But, as I was saying about this third skill, it increases my magical damage by 20%, which is tremendous. So, every 100 points it's going of damage, it's gonna increase my damage by 20 points. Awesome, awesome. And also, when you activate it, it increases my leech HP uh, or leeching effect for 
uh, 10 seconds. So the first item I'm going to buy this Acolyte Staff and also I'm going to buy some Boots of Haste. What is cool about those two is you can throw the pillars and then you can initiate that first skill and leech off the whole enemy. This allows Goro to go into the team fight, you know, like against everybody and use his ulti for stuff as well. So as my Goro gets up here, I'm going to throw my pillars out there, pick off these last hits, and me and Goro are going to do this dance again. Oh man, what a bad hurricane. Gonna throw this. Be doing that DOT over time. And what's cool is you really don't have to worry about much of last hitting with this guy. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna level up is my hurricane because as you look, it doubled the damage, and that's what I want. The splash damage is what really is the effect here on his tornado. So I'm going to pick up that as well. I'm going to throw this out there. Just do that damage. Man, it's insane how much damage that does. Oh, that Goro picked off our horse. Hmm. See if I can get lucky here. Nope, unfortunately I didn't. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm going to need one of these, one of these, just to protect myself up here. Aha, uh -huh, I see him. Yeah, he's not targeting the creeps like I am, so. Just kiting that guy away, I don't want him to get all those creeps. But he's not doing a good job of last hitting. Boom, thank you. Got my level 6 now. Maybe we might have the chance to initiate on this coil. But I'm not going to go in. I really would like to get this over here. Shucks, somebody else already got it. Well, I'm going to come in here, take these, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So the next item I want to buy is the Enchanter's Ring because, oop, I'm crossing, I'm crossing. Only have enough for one tornado or an ulti, so... No! No! Oh, I overextended. Shucks. And our guy just sat there and waited. If you see that, look at that. Look at this guy. I'm going to zoom in on him. Oop. He's, that's all he's doing. Wrong way to play Inquisitor, but... Anyways, we live with what our teammates have. So I am going to actually upgrade the Leviathan since I can't upgrade all the way at the moment. So it looks like I'm going to keep my eye on this horse real quick. Looks like he's not going to be in trouble at all. I'm going to give him a shield. Good job by horse. Good job. Nice shield by me. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> so horse is going to go home. And I am going to pick up all of these creeps. Well, I guess not all of them. Alright, pick that up. Oops. 
I'm gonna cross. Throw this out here real quick, and then I'm gonna cross back, help push this line. Ah. So we're gonna kill this real quick, and then hopefully get some down on this tower. Oop, I'm backing, I'm backing. Ah. Blink. He'll all know. No, the ulti! Oh, I was spamming it! Oh, the double stun! Lucky Baxter. Okay. I have ports. I'll talk about my ulti in a second if I'm able to get in there to use it. Going, going, going. Awesome, oh, good kill by horse. I know that saved my Joan bro there. Oh, I hope he has the right. Go, 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 horse. See, I don't have enough yet. But. I need money, honey. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about my ulti a little bit right now. It stuns the enemies that are all around them within a certain amount of meters. And when I'm able to use it, you will see how big it is. But it does uh, pretty good damage to all the people around it. Over 200 at the moment. See, looks like that Arya used a respawn. I'm gonna come across and help this Dresnor push. I just don't want him to get ganked. So, we're gonna kill all these. Take Tornado to the face, D Brony. So it looks like we got a hit pretty good there. I'm gonna just throw this out there. Hopefully we can get something. That's you you saw the ulti there guys. I really just saved my Dresnor's life. Oh, close to a kill. Oh no, he got me in his all day. Oh, tornado to the face. Oh, good play by that Grosha. So if you, he got me in his two seconds stun. I took them crazy tower hits, as you saw, which was bad for me. Tower killed me. Wow. Oh, and he fireballed me. That's how I died. <laughs> Uh, crazy fireball. I thought I was going to get away, but I didn't. He fireballed me, but. <laughs> so we need to team up and get together now. So as you saw the ulti, you want to use that in team fights to get that two second stun out. It really benefits your teammates a lot. Because there's not a lot of two second stuns out there at all. Oh my gosh. Our Jambra's in trouble. Oh, oh, Dresnor. Oh, bleed, baby, bleed, bleed. Oh, so close. He's gotten so lucky by the, uh, the creeps. I'm gonna cut to up here. See if we can do some damage on one of these guys. Ooh. I gotta be careful. Ah, oh, fail blink. I know. Accident. Accident, dude. Accident. Uh, 
So we're gonna come across, and it looks like, yeah, we're gonna come get uh, Guja right now, and it's easy. Hopefully, I will be able to. Goro's out. I am gonna level my first skill up now. Also, I am going to get a healing, but I need some HP. Oh wow, I didn't get it. So as you can see, I'm letting my Jombra initiate. I'm just staying back right now. Throw it, tornado. Oh, death by me. <laughs> uh, okay, Inquisitor's bottom. Looks like we're going to push hard on this mid here. Looks like he's pushing top, but we can do this mid push. Just uh, throw my tornado to kite these guys away. Use my pillars the way I need to. Let's see. So you can spam this second skill as much as you want to or need to if you feel it does more damage here. I'm just going to throw it out there to do immense damage to this guy. Oh, I wish that tornado had hit so close. All right. So this is where you'll want to activate the the third skill. I'm going to throw this. Activate the third skill. Increase that healing as much as possible. I need the leech right now, guys. Need the leech. Also, you can initiate that third skill as well as you're in a team fight. Use your tornado everything if you can. Okay guys, I am getting back now. Tornado! Ulti! No! Ulti didn't go off, but he targeted me and I got the kill. So it was very beneficial. Good job. Also, I'm going to upgrade... I'm going to get another one of these and I'm going to sell this and upgrade into this. And I have 18 seconds. I'm going to come back and pour it in on my Dresnor. Just a real quick, oh, looks like our horse is in trouble. Ulti, throw your second skill. Tornado, gone. Oh, I'm out. Ugh. I am out of here. See you later, bye. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to finish off my tornado right now. And let's look at their items real quick, because I need to see. Oh, wow. Look at my feed action on my team. Not bad by Dresnor and awesome by others. So we have a opposite teams doing very well. Our team's doing fairly well is, is good. Good assist here. So right where we need to be. I'm going to come top push this top lane. Don't want them to push in too much. And I got to get some uh, physical defense. Unfortunately, I can't follow my build 100%. Look at all that money. See how much damage I'm doing. Oh my gosh, over three, 400 with this thing now. 
And 168 a second. Oh my gosh. A field of gold. Oh. Gotta love it. Burn this real quick. Get my money, honey. Oop, I'm back. You saw that inky come through. So I'm going to throw this and get out of here. Alright, so I'm not going to maximize my ulti yet. I'm going to maximize this third skill. And you see how much it procs. It increases my magic damage by 40% now. I can't trust this guy. However, let's see. So I'm coming up here to push this lane again. I thought the Inquisitor was there. But he is not now. Oh, no, our jumpy's in trouble. I'm still pushing this lane. I can't go help him. Maybe I can meet him up here in the cloud. Good back by Jamba. Good port in by Horse, but unfortunately he didn't make it. Oh, I, I tried to steal it. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're all going mid. A uh, front coming in. Looks like Dresden was leading the way. I'm staying back. I do not want to get caught by any of these guys. So I'm going to burn these creeps so we can get in there quicker. We're going to take this barracks to level up our creeps. Those five levels that we need. And I hope we're going to start taking base. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rock this base as much as we can. Ooh, bad play. Bad. Oh, horse still got the kill. Got him. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Y'all saw that tornado. I know you did. So I'm going to level up this third skill. Looks like we're going to finish off. Hopefully I won't die. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so a quick recap. And I don't know if y'all noticed this or not. There's more of 1v1 situations with Goro. And when you use the skill order with Goro, you want to throw that tornado first. If you're in that 1v1 situation. Then you're going to want to throw your second skill and ulti. Now, if you're in a team fight, when you want to go in, you want to throw that second skill on where your team fight is and where he's ultied and initiated. It's great with Jombra and Jombra's ulti. So use the second skill. Use your first skill and get in there. Use your third skill and ulti. This will help you uh, keep your HP up as high as possible and also do tremendous damage at that time you will be able to use your first skill again for any wanderers are getting away so guys i hope you like this how to play to guide uh episode 8 featuring goro and the crackling doom also uh, oh wow and we had a rookie on our team <laughs> so here's the quick recap of death skills um so we're going to come down here and look as any. I hope this helps you all understand how to play uh, Garosha a little bit more. Also, uh, when to use the skills and when not to. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to go play some more games. So see you all.